Hello thinkers, if you ever wondered how a gyroscope works and how it gets information on its orientation, you're in the right place. These sensors are everywhere, inside our smartphones, gaming controllers, drones, and robots, but we take them for granted. In this video, my human will show you how to connect an MPU6050 to an ESP32, explore different ways to calculate orientation, and use the Kalman filter for improved stability. This little module here is the MPU6050, a 6-axis motion tracking sensor that includes a 3-axis accelerometer and a 3-axis gyroscope. The MPU6050 communicates with the ESP32 via I2C, which means we only need two data wires plus power and ground. Once it's wired up, we need to install the MPU6050 libraries in Arduino IDE to communicate with the sensor. To estimate the orientation you don't even need the gyroscope, since acceleration due to gravity affects the accelerometer. Here we are taking the signals from the three axes of the accelerometer and we can serial plot them and you see one of the three is much larger and this is due to gravity. Indeed, if you change the orientation, yeah, the larger signal becomes this one. However, raw values fluctuate a lot and is sensitive to sudden movements. The Kalman filter is an algorithm that combines accelerometer and gyroscope data to get a more stable and accurate angle measurement. It predicts and corrects errors, reducing noise and drift. In the next videos I will show you how to apply this method to a Bluetooth controller and to a balance bot. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more DIY AI and robotics projects.